Hello friends, starting a YouTube channel today will pay off almost immediately as you grow through your failures. Failures? What? Why would I talk about failing? When I share the two ways that I've failed, why I failed, and how I've improved, you're going to benefit by knowing certainly what's ahead for your YouTube journey. Since you've been warned, now you can prevent or at least manage these problems that are definitely going to affect you too. Shouldn't I be claiming all the big money and fame you're going to experience almost instantly once you press record? Now, maybe you're a natural in some aspects of YouTube, but in others, you're going to need to learn. Just to let you know, I haven't made it yet, and maybe I never will. I don't regret my journey, even though I'm obviously not successful by many measurements, including ad revenue, subscriber count, community interaction, through return viewers as well as comments, and you get the idea. To clarify, this is not a video on how to start your channel because there are many other videos out there that teach you the techniques. Instead, you will realize, just like everything in life, nothing is free and you must work for it. The good news is that you're definitely going to improve the more you practice. Let's go over some of my failures. The first failure is speaking on camera. This is much harder than you'd think because it's unnatural. We're used to talking to people. We're self-conscious, we're easily intimidated, and considering there could be a lot of people watching me through this lens right now. It's exceedingly easy to write down our thoughts and much harder to speak on camera. <laughs> I don't think anyone likes doing something they don't want to, like taking a test, going for a doctor visit, applying for a loan, filling out tax returns, and public speaking. My heart was absolutely pounding leading up to pressing record, and it didn't stop either. But it does get easier with practice. For some, it's just going to be a little practice. For others, it's going to be many, many, many videos worth of practice, and that was me. When you talk with someone, there is time in between speaking to listen to what the other person says. When you're talking to a camera, it's like there's no breaks to collect your thoughts. I feel like I'm always expected to be saying something. I can see you there. I should be talking. How come I just can't relax, take a breath, look around? It'll be okay. But no, it's this constant pressure to be looking at you and talking to you. And this is hard. I can tell it feels unnatural, and it is hard to catch my breath in between subjects. <laughs> Sometimes when I finish one topic, I forget what the next one is, so I have to stop, I have to get out my notes, and then edit out that break in the video like it never happened. I have found that my first take is terrible, and then it flows much better when I shoot it again. I think making videos will also help you with public speaking. Try standing out in public and film a video. You're keenly aware of all the people around you. I do go out of my way to film in remote places free from people. Like right now, I'm in an industrial area. It's the weekend. There's no one here. Sometimes when I'm filming in my car, I do notice people. But as long as they can't hear me talk, then I don't mind. I can tune them out and I can just proceed with filming. And this wasn't the case when I started on my YouTube journey. One time, I found what I thought was a secluded area behind a department store, but actually, it was a shortcut for cars to travel between one area and the next. So I just kept filming, and I would have to pause sometimes as they were going by to collect my thoughts. But it did make me focus on my work and ignore people that were watching me. It was tough, though. My second failure is not building community. My gig economy niche is wide and deep, so there are many topics that all drivers should be interested in. I thought that people would enjoy my insights, take my advice to be a better gig economy worker, and thank me for their increased earnings and tips. That has happened, but not nearly as much as I thought it would. I want to help drivers improve, so I make videos on those kinds of topics. This does likely limit my success. I already do post unique things that happen that people might find entertaining, but that really isn't my main focus. 
I do try to focus on being positive and factual. It is hard because when you work for the gig apps like Uber, DoorDash, Instacart, you realize they don't care about you. And I don't hesitate to let other drivers know these facts. That way they can manage their expectations and thrive as an independent contractor. This can be perceived as negative. So I do try to keep my channel balanced. Not sharing bad news isn't helping drivers. I also focus on safety, mostly driver safety, but customer safety as well. Safety is a topic that the gig apps mostly pay lip service to. Drivers are at risk and they don't fully realize it. I do realize that I haven't used my community tab within YouTube and I think I'm limiting myself that way. So I'm gonna start using it and ask drivers what's on their minds. Also, maybe I need to stop limiting myself and produce quality videos that people do wanna see even if it isn't something I normally do, because what I normally do isn't building community and it's not leading to rapid success. I will experiment with this as well. I think it's pretty clear. I need to make some changes or risk remaining irrelevant. Please do review videos on my channel and let me know if you see something that I don't. Compare the earlier ones with more recent ones. Compare the ones with high views and then the low views. Just say, Russ, here's my feedback, and I'm going to humbly reply with gratitude. So use my channel for your test case on how you're going to do clearly much better than me. If you're asking me, yes, I definitely think you should start a YouTube channel after you carefully think what kind of channel are you going to do and then commit to it. Before I forget, there are YouTube channels that teach you how to run your own channel. Of note, check out Nate Black and This is Virginia Kerr. You won't regret it. I imagine many of you have ordered food for delivery over the years. And should you ever consider delivering food for a side hustle to help you meet your financial goals, I made a concise yet complete video teaching you how to do food delivery. It has low views, but it's a hidden gem that's ready right now for you to be a successful and profitable food delivery driver. Thank you.